What's up guys, Janik Journal coming back with another video. You may wonder why we have an engine here on life support. Uh, we accumulated a couple small engines from mini bikes. These are the little guys, 98 cc's, and we got a little plan with them. So this small engine, this one's a flathead, and uh, it's definitely gonna need life support by the time we're done with it. Uh, it currently has head bolts in it now. It does run, it was on a mini bike, but uh, what if you don't wanna reuse your used head bolts? We're gonna find out the other options. All right, we'll get our little baseline here. Let's see if we can get the fire up. How's the cold start? I don't, we don't have a kill switch yet. Okay, so it runs good. Good baseline. Is that engine braking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're just gonna take off the six six head bolts. Peep the uh, NGK spark plug, by the way. That's, that's pretty cool. So we're gonna keep this one on. That's not a head bolt. Uh, we're gonna take the six off. You know what I'm not sure on any of these motors is if they have the um, alignment dowels, because that's gonna be a big factor. Um, on this one, not so much, because you don't have valves and rock arms and stuff in the head. But these ones, if they don't have the pins, I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to need that to align them. So, but for this one, we're just, we're just going to run it. See what happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, why is that even funny? I don't know. It was funny though. All that happened too. All right. So, uh, we're just going to continue to check this down. I don't know how much force we're going to go with. I'm, I'm thinking just kind of snug like that. We got no, we got no uh, head bolts in it. I think we're good. I just gotta come up with something for a kill switch so I can ground this wire, just in case this thing runs away on us a little bit. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got the kill switch engaged here. Just got a little screwdriver. Actually, we want to leave that. We don't want that to touch. So I'll hold that. Joey's on the throttle. Choke is partially on. Let's pull it. This is this is it. Full start. What's going on here? Oh, okay. I, I think the head's leaking already. We got a little something. Let's try it again. What's that? All right. Let's torque her down a little bit more. Ooh, that's pretty tight. I don't know. We got a problem already. Something's not right. Okay, let's try to figure out what's going on here and uh Hopefully we can get this thing running. I thought we'd just fire it right up, honestly. Okay, tried a couple things. First of all, I put some head bolts in just to make sure the gasket was lined up. And also we were pressing down and hitting on the shroud a little. So I, I jacked it up. Um, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna go for it. Sounds like Scott might be here off-roading, potentially in the, in the Corolla out there. Um, let's see what it does. Fuck, what is that? Pressure. Yeah, it's blowing it, blowing out. Scott's here. Yep. Um, All right, we got Scott here. We're going with a wood head on this uh, this time. Wood head test. Let's go. Pine, poplar. What do we got? No, no compression at all. Oh yeah. Oh wait a minute. It's good if you give it some throttle. It's better. Oh, it's hot. No, it's a little squeak. So you saw it not run, then you saw it run. Uh, basically we were putting the press right on the head, really centralizing the pressure. So we came up with putting a, a 
one by four to disperse the weight. It seemed to seal up decent. Uh, so if you can fit a two ton or a 20 ton press onto your mini bike frame and you don't want head bolts to maybe save weight, I don't know, it'll work. It'll work. And uh, we have a couple more ideas, but why don't you guys tell us what you want us to try? Zip ties, duct tape, me standing on it because I'm quite rotund. I, I don't know, just send us a message, but that's gonna be it for today. Just for the haters who think we have head bolts under that 2x4.